Hi everyone, welcome to GTS Distribution's Come and Play Day here in Seattle. My name is Rodney Smith, and I'm here with John Carroll from Asthma Day. Yes. How you doing? Good, man. I'm, I'm, really, good so I'm far, really excited right? about this. I'll tell you why. You brought Black Fleet with you, and I noticed you in the corner, it says Space Cowboys. And that's a name that people should be familiar with because they did another game. That's right. Splendor. Mm -hmm. It's doing quite well. It's doing really well. It's nominated for the Jar Spiel Award. That's so. right. The time of this recording, it's nominated. Who knows? Maybe yeah. it's going to win. Uh, I'm pulling for it. I, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. So this is another game by them, but it is very different looking. Very, very different. Uh, as you can tell, uh, this is a... Um, it's a Navy game. It, it's a, you're, you're controlling ships, right? Right. So you're controlling, uh, as you know, you have your pirate ship here. He Very goes cool. around trying to sh sink the merchant ship. You have your merchant ship. He goes around ports bringing goods, right? Yes. And uh, that will generate money. And you have the neutral Navy ship here, and he goes around and he looks for pirate ships. And look at this money. And that is, this is a prototype, but that is the real money that will be. In wow, it's yeah, nice. I like the, the real actual components. coins. That's right. Very cool. And uh, yeah, and the objective of the game is to uh, complete uh, these development cards before you complete your last one. And the first one to flip it over. Uh, if, you're, if you flip it, uh, I'll have one more turn, right. and the player that flips this over wins if yes. both of us flipped it over then it's the player who has the most money that wins okay so right. so this is kind of like a little uh, tapestry here this this shows i am the first player that is correct okay. so these will be uh, given out randomly to the players yes. shuffle these up give them out neat whatever you get the color will match the color on the ships okay so I'm and now these development cards as well have a random element because uh, you all have to have these ones here, the, the 5, the 8, the 11, 14, and 10. You also have a 24 more experience game. Okay. But these ones are different. They're all different. So it changes how you play your game, which development card you want to complete first, and uh, it adds to replay value. That's interesting. So uh, although it looks the same on this side, once I flip it over, I'm going to have a new special power? That is correct, ships. yeah. Okay. Very neat. Well, listen, uh, would it be okay? Uh, we kind of set things up here as if we've already been playing for a little bit. Why don't we do just a quick sample yeah, turn? Maybe let's show people do how it. the game works? All cool. right. All right, so as we already established, I am the first player. Mm -hmm. And I have some cards in my hand. I have navigation cards. That's right. And I have fortune cards. That's right. Well, I'm going to have to play one of my navigation Navigation cards. Right? Those will move your ship around. These have kind of a standard layout, right? This allows me to move some of the different ships on the board. And then a little something different here on the bottom that we'll get to in a moment, right? Yeah. Now, I don't have to do these in order. You don't, OK? So this, uh, this is the, your navy ship. Well, this is the neutral navy ship. Right. You do have to move the purple one, though. Yes. Uh, but then you can move your pirate ship or your merchant ship. Okay. Uh, they do move these spaces. These are the different values, right? That's correct. Now, is it, do I have to move exactly four? Or can it be up to four? It's spaces? up to four. OK. Well, here's what I want to do. Um, the, the Navy here, I don't have a big plan for this guy. I'll have to be honest. I'm just going to send him away a little bit, all right? All right. Get him out of the way. Now, my pirate ship, I do have a bit of a plan. You probably mm -hmm. won't like it, mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to move my pirate ship. Yeah. Nice one, <laughs> two, three. Now, I just have to be adjacent to you to That's do this right. action. Right. right. And the action that I'm going to do, like any good pirate, yar, yar. I'm going to steal of some course. of your goods. I'm going right. to take this out. Now, the pirate ship only has room for one good, right? That's correct. And because you stole my last good, you've sunk my ship. Oh, even better. Yes, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> OK. Do you lose that permanently, or what happens? So what happens is he'll come back at the beginning of my turn okay. in one of the ports, and he'll load up good. But right. because you sunk my ship, you get two doubloons. Oh, awesome. OK, well, I'm going to take that. Right. Is this a one? Is that, value these one? are ones, okay. and the golds are five. Perfect. And next turn, actually, you're in a really good position. You can bury this good and get four doubloons as well. OK, so are these little spots around the board, this is where the pirates are right. buried? That's right. They're, okay. they're hidden treasure charts. So, <laughs> I suppose right. it makes sense. I can't come into port and try to trade. No one wants to trade with a no pirate. One, nobody <laughs> wants to trade with a pirate. <laughs> and you can't do it right now. You only have one action per turn, which you use to attack. Fair enough. I feel All pretty right. good. I okay. pretty good anyway, so I'll take that. Um, so then I have another movement here, my merchant, right? That's correct. Well, I'm pretty close to a port, so I'll go the four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. You now it's an action I can trade? Now, yes, you can trade. and. You, I suggest you do so. One, yes. two, three. And the value of it is here in the port, right? For each. Okay, so that's six. Nice. Okay. All right. I'll take that. And now... Uh, These go back. They're in port, probably going to load up. 
That's right. Is that right. automatic? That's not a special action. Just you happens. have to to sell. You have to uh, load up afterwards. Okay. Okay. So it's automatic. Well, I appreciate your help. After I sunk your ship, yeah. you very kindly loaded me up. Mm -hmm. John Carl, you're a good man. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, <laughs> okay. I still haven't had my turn yet. That's so true. <laughs> that is a very good point. That's a very good point. Okay. Well, so now there's a there's another That's item here right. at the bottom. Okay. So these will this specific navigation card uh, will allow you to draw two fortune cards. Now you can play as many fortune cards as you want on your turn. Okay. Um, and they help you do Little with special abilities. Game. I'll just show the one here that I had in my hand but didn't use. This one's called Side Trading, and it says, if your pirate doesn't move more than one space, gain three doubloons. There you go. Okay, so I could have played that, gain three doubloons, but I really wanted to move uh, you, my pirate. You, you, you want to sink me. That's <laughs> I fine. Did, I did. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> You're not bitter. I can tell. I can tell. This is going to come back to haunt me. I didn't know it. All right, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gain two of these. That's right. right. And then does this, this just gets discarded? That's, yeah, in the discard pile. Okay, so we'll just get rid of that. There you go. And I can, uh, I can build one of my developments, right? That's right, so that's the last step. Now you have enough money. I do. Uh, you have enough money okay. for two. I suggest you look at whichever one you want to build. Okay. And uh, yeah, and that, that'll bring you closer to achieving your goal, right? Because once you complete all these, then, then you, can, you can complete that. And this That's is the winner. Right. All right, so I'm, I'm going to complete the cheaper one. Uh, it costs five and has a special ability here as well. Uh, and it says, when your pirate is sunk, do not remove the treasure it holds. It continues to carry that treasure when it re-enters the board. Well, isn't that nice? That's handy. <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you planning to sink my ship? Well, no, I'm, I'm pretty far, You're pretty right? far away, so I feel far, like I'm, yeah. pretty, I'm pretty good I here. I mean, most of these will move three, so that's... Yeah, what's that? One, one two, two three. three. You'd have to move four. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm I, good. I think you're good. Well, so is that the end of my turn? That is. That okay. is the end of your turn. Time to so move things over to you. now let's do this. I'll play this. Now, you're pretty safe, Rodney, right? The, he right. only moves two, like I said. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I have a fortune card. Of course you do. <laughs> unfortunately. Unfortunately, he says. Yeah. And it makes me move uh, my Navy ship up to two extra spaces. Well, look at that. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four. Perfect. So uh, the Navy goes around and he's a pirate hunter. So Am I sunk? Sink your sunk. There's no dice I get to roll and there say, is hey, no, no dice. I'm just... I, I had no dice when you <laughs> sunk me, right? <laughs> That's a good point. Now, however, you have this card. Right. Okay, so when he comes back in, he'll still have the good. I did, however, sink you, and that yes. garners me to the balloons. Yeah, and, and okay. maybe even a little more. What's your special ability? Oh, I forgot I developed that card. That's <laughs> right. Well, thanks, Rodney. And that's going to give you a, an additional two doubloons. So that just shows you how these different developments are different, right? That's right. Different that's things. Right. Okay, that's very okay. cool. Well, what else? What else are you going to do here? Got, well, I'm not going to draw a card, unfortunately, but that's fine. These guys move five. Wow. Uh, now you sunk my ship before. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. I'll start him up here, get him away from, well, your part ship's going to go. I don't know where he's going to go. Let's, let's come bounce him, it out. Let's put him yeah. in the middle here. You see? All right. The reason why I want to do that is these two Navy ships are pretty close. So, so yeah, that's kind of a, Yeah, exactly. Cool. So I have a little bit more strategy of where I want to start them off. Now you start them off, uh, you load them up, and they do their move. Okay. Okay, so... Um, you need to head to a port. Five, three, three. I just noticed something here. This, this port doesn't have any blue. So that's right. Th the reason why it's so close, uh, you have to go further up. So you okay. really have to go to a port Somewhere where it accepts blue. the good. Okay. Okay. Where would you like so, to go? Um, all right, let's go five. Let's go in the middle. I'll stick to us. Uh, <laughs> I think that's probably one, a two, good idea. Three, four, five. <laughs> stick it, between my. Uh, if you'd gone this way, there. I would have made sure my pirate ship comes out. Right. right. So when it's my turn again, I know it's not quite my turn yet, but when I do bring this out, where does my pirate you ship enter? You have three possible entrances one here, one here, okay, and I see or it one there. Right here. Okay. That's correct. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so this way I feel kind of safe between these two, kind of like a blockade. Sure. And uh, I'll move my pirate uh, ship. Where do I want to move him? Here. Well, let's get him closer to you guys. One, two, three. Okay, Four, chasing me. Five. Oh, chasing I'm me. Coming, I'm yeah. coming. <laughs> you can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> you chase, taste those right. purple cubes. Now, at the end of my turn, uh, at the end of uh, the movement phase, I don't draw any cards. Right, okay? no symbol there. Um, and you, you know, I, I just do. realized. Did you draw a card? I did forgot draw? to draw a navigation. You, well, you do get a. Uh, you, you refill, do, right? You refill up to two, okay. okay? You usually only play one. Yeah. So there you go. I take that, and my turn is done. Awesome. All right, okay. I can't well, spend my four golds for any development cards because they're a little pricey right now. So I'm just going to have turn. to loot and trade. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay, sounds good. Well, that's a pretty good overview of how, how the game works, I think. When is this releasing? Gen Con. Gen Con. Yeah. I'm sure this will be a, a popular item. Gen Con 2014. Item. Yeah, yeah uh, I mean, with the coins, components like that. Uh, yeah, the, the models beautiful. really are 
are very nice. I hope I'll do some nice close-up shots here so people can see that. But the uh, the models really turned out nice. Uh, it certainly grabbed my attention when I saw some other pictures and videos of it online. Yeah, beautiful. And, uh, it really turned out nice. And of course, this is still being put into its file. We're in sleeves here, right? But, yeah, uh, we, we we put the sleeves here uh, yeah. to protect the prototype. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Well, listen, thanks, John Carlo. I really appreciate you coming here, uh, doing a little swashbuckling <laughs> with me, a little bit of trading. I appreciate awesome. that. And of course, to all of you, thanks for watching.